Today I'd like to go over a case that came in which shows that a numeric approximation can be as good and a lot simpler than a more analytically correct solution or closed form solution. The case that came in was one where a MATLAB user had some kind of a three-dimensional blob defined by patches and he was going to get a bunch of points like these black stars and he needed to find the closest point on the surface of that blob to each of the individual points. So it would be something like this. Now to do this would take a lot of computational geometry because sometimes the closest point on the surface is going to be in the middle of a face, sometimes it's going to be on a vertex, and sometimes it's going to be along an edge. And that, that's a lot of calculation to try and figure out all those cases. I don't really know that math that well. I know it exists and I know I could figure it out. So I asked him, this MATLAB user, if there were approximations that would be acceptable. And it turns out there were. Imagine that we zoom in on this blob at one of the patches. His patches were triangular, but for this example here, we've got a square one. It really doesn't matter. Now, if you were to take a bunch of points and array them on that surface, then the closest point on the surface to that star could be approximated by the distance from each of those red dots and choose the one that's closest. If you have a sufficient density of those red dots on the surface, you can get close enough. And so that's exactly what we did. The first challenge was how do we put those red dots that are close enough on the surface of the object? Well, if you can add the dots to any given patch, that should be good enough. And remember, we had only triangular patches. Well, let's take a look at how we did this. I'm going to show it in 2D, but this was actually a three-dimensional problem. If we look at this patch, we can recognize that there are two vectors, one along each edge, and that if you add them up, you could be anywhere on that patch, or you could be completely off of it. But it forms a nice little um, coordinate system here. So let's name those M and N, and let's try and keep on the patch. If we have only M, then we're going to be along this edge, right there to that point. If we have only n, we're going to be here. Or if we take any combination of the two, especially those where m plus n is less than or equal to 1, we're going to stay on the patch. And so now we have a way of getting those points arrayed onto the triangular patch, like this. Now it really doesn't matter the um, for loop that I used to do this, but it was pretty simple to come up with. And so now we can have these data points all across the patch. Now if we take our three-dimensional point here in capital X, capital Y, capital Z, we can easily find which of those red points is closest. How do we do that? Well, if we think of them as a big matrix of points, x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, lowercase, like this, then all we need to do is find the distance, d, between all of them. And that is done with this equation. Since we're only looking for the minimum distance, we can actually simplify this a little by getting rid of the square root. It just a little bit more calculation that we don't need since we're just looking for the minimum one anyway. So that is the general algorithm that we're going to use to solve this problem. Put po data points along the surface 
at the density that is prescribed and then find the data point that is closest to the given star or point of interest. This makes it a lot simpler because we don't have to have any real knowledge of computational geometry or worry about whether the vertex, the edge, or the face is the closest. So this is an approximation, but it was one that was good enough for this solution. And it uses a lot of the capabilities of MATLAB because this final problem right here is just a matrix operation that's done very easily and quickly.